Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium Web Driver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can implement uh, fluent weight in your Selenium Web Driver script. So, in the last tutorial, we have seen the implementation of the explicit weight. Now, let's see what is fluent weight and how you can implement fluent weight in Selenium Web Driver. So if you haven't watched all the previous tutorial prior to this, please go through and watch all of those. If you want to, you know, learn uh, the Selenium step by step from very beginners till the advanced level. So uh, I'll highly recommend you to follow all the previous tutorials uh, before you go ahead, uh, you come to this, you know, like synchronization and weight section of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and understand what exactly fluent weight is. So in the previous tutorial, when we set up the explicit weight, we had specified the time um, that we want to wait or the timeout that we have, you know, uh, specified in this case, you know, like 10 seconds for waiting for a particular web element, right? But in this case, there was no option to basically, you know, um, to poll. You don't know how many times uh, the poll uh, polling will happen when uh, the web driver is trying to find this web element right you don't know whether it's you know polling every one second or half a second or five seconds so in the fluent weight you have the uh, capability to basically provide the polling time as well right so you, you you can provide the timeout and then you can also specify to you know poll every two seconds or poll every one second. So what a web driver will do is it will wait for that particular amount of time. So for example, you specify two seconds polling time. It will wait for two seconds, then poll for that web element after two seconds. If it is able to find it, it will proceed. If it is not, again, wait two seconds, poll, uh, uh, you know, wait for two seconds and then try to find out after two seconds. So that's how the fluent wait works let's go to the documentation and see the documentation for fluent weight let me find um fluent weight yeah so fluent weight is there uh if we go to the fluent weight it's a class it's an implementation of the weight interface okay and that may have its timeout and polling interval configured on the fly so that's the advantage of you know using fluent weight that you can specify the polling interval as well and if you see the sample usage, that's how you will be using the fluent weight. So web driver weight, right? So we simply need to, I'll just copy this and go back to Eclipse ID. I'll paste that class here. Oh, sorry, that implementation here. So now if you see closely, what we are doing here is we are creating an object of the fluent weight class, right? And you'll see that, uh, in the documentation if you go through the fluent weight so that's a class we are creating an object of that and then calling all the methods that are available there so here we have uh, you know the methods like with timeout polling every and ignoring okay and there are many more so we'll walk through those so um, once we do the implementation of this one so now what we can say here is we can simply specify the duration of the timeout that we want to use so we'll use the same duration um, class so we'll say duration um, sorry we'll say duration dot off and you can specify you know minutes millis seconds so I'll use seconds and I'll say 20 seconds and then I'll also specify the polling time right so again duration of seconds and poll every two seconds right that's what we want to specify so this is the timeout 20 seconds and after every two seconds it will poll for the presence of the web element that we have specified that will be specifying okay now the next you know uh, method here is ignoring so uh, what you need to do here is you need to provide the class or the exception that you want to ignore okay so here you have to make sure that you are selecting this class properly so if you you know um, if i just start typing no such element exception okay and i'll just remove this library from here and if you hover over this you will see or i'll just say dot 
class okay so you'll see that you have dot class from java dot util and then from selenium you have to make sure that you import no such element exception from the selenium library okay and then let's go back and see some of the other methods that we can use okay so here um, on this particular you know like fluent weight the other methods that are available is uh, you know with message which is important that i want to cover so what you can do is you can provide a custom message uh, with the fluent weight that you want to be displayed so we can say dot with message and provide the message string there so i'll say rcv academy and i'll just say this is custom message and then when we'll run it we'll see that uh, this custom message is being displayed okay so now we have this is what we need to do to in order to implement the fluent weight and now i'll comment out the explicit weight uh, you know line and fluent weight will be utilized for this presence okay so let me you know change this so this is the locator and let's try to change this to 10 seconds so i don't want uh, the it to wait too long and let's run it and see that it works fine in order to select the subcategory of the ebay category that we want to choose so it will go to the uh, main category go to the subcategory and should select the subcategory appliances below electronics okay So it looks like it's not working. So let's see what the error is. So, okay, so it is an invalid selector. So there is something wrong with the selector and you can see that there is custom message that is being displayed, right? So it has basically polled, you know, for, uh, you know, two, uh, every two milliseconds or every two seconds and then tried for 10 seconds. So you, you can see that tried for 10 seconds with 200 2000 milliseconds interval so uh, let me uh, see I think I uh, purposely changed it to you know invalid uh, locator so let's try running it and see that this time it finds the locator so if the uh, locator is fine it should yeah so the, the slash was uh, the problem there so you can see that now it has clicked on home appliances and I'm not, uh, you know, maximizing the page this time just to show you that, uh, you know, there are errors occurring here. So now, for example, you know, if it is not able to find any locator, as we have seen previously, if I just, you know, put some garbage locator and then uh, run again, then, you know, we have already seen, but I'll show you once again, uh, the message that will be displayed and it will keep trying. Uh, to find that particular locator on page for the timeout that you have specified right so you can see that it it is waiting and every two seconds it will pull and try to find out and after 10 seconds you will see that the timeout or the exception will occur right so you can see here that it is unable to locate the web element and that's what we have specified in our fluent weight that we have specified. So we have specified the timeout duration as 10 seconds, pulling every two seconds and the custom message that is got displayed here. And we have specified ignoring, you know, such element exception class. This is important because say for example, if you don't use it, okay. And uh, then I simply, you know, just run it. Then the script will fail instantly because it's not ignoring, you know, any exception or uh, you haven't specified any ignore class. So it will not wait for that particular amount of time and fluent wait will, you know, it will just keep going on. The script will execution will keep going on. So that's pretty much all about the implementation of fluent wait in Selenium web driver. Hope you like the tutorial. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.